So you probably recall this image. It's supposed to be generated by GPT-40. This was posted by uh, Greg Brockman almost a year ago. And he says it's a GPT-40 generated image. Now we're still waiting for them to release this, but Google just released Gemini 2.0 Flash with native image generation support. And this is probably one of the craziest things that I have seen. So I took that exact image and posted this on Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental and said, describe this image in details, including all the text that you see on the whiteboard, create a prompt that I can use with a text to image generator uh, to recreate this exact image. Now, here is what it came up with. So it came up with a detailed description. It's really good at uh, doing OCR on the text that is present in the image. And then it gave me this prompt which also include all the text that we need that is extracted from the image. Then I took this prompt and I gave it back to Gemini 2.0 Flash. And here's the output that it generated. So it has the exact same text transfer between modalities. Suppose we directly model text pixel sounds with one big autoregressive transformer. What are the pros and cons? And it even has that plot with compute which is pretty impressive and probably one of the craziest things that I have seen so far. Although it did not like to put OpenAI's logo, so it put something else on the back of this person. But now here's the crazy thing. You can just uh, edit this image using text description. So I said, can you replace the logo on the back of the t-shirt with Google's logo? And here's what it came up with. So it replaced that logo, although I think it slightly tweaked the image as well because the text on it is not as correct as before but this really shows you the possibilities of what is going to be possible in a couple of iterations here's what we're going to do I, I took the same prompt so that it has a lot more context and now we're going to ask it to put google's logo on the back of the person and let's see uh, what the output is going to look like so we actually have um, a pretty nice output Let's look at the text transfer between modalities. Suppose we directly model this with one big autoregressive transformer. And we do see that it has Google's logo on the back of this person shirt. Pretty impressive. So this not only lets you uh, generate images using text description, but it also lets you edit images using text description. There are uh, quite a few examples on the announcement page, but I'm going to walk you through a couple of my own examples. But the best part, you can start using this through the API as well. And it's available for free. Before showing you some other examples, let me show you how you can do this in Gemini Flash. So go to Google AI Studio, pick Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, and then you're going to see this new output format. So select a text along with images. You can also generate audio. So here's an image of Oppenheimer and Albert Einstein. It's a black and white image. So I'm going to ask it to color this image. And let's see what the output looks like. Okay, so here's the color output. And it actually kept the structure of the original image, which is pretty neat. And the coloring looks pretty awesome. Now let's see if it actually recognize uh, people in the image. So I'm going to ask it who are the people in this image. And let's see what uh, we get as a response. So it says the people in the image are Albert Einstein and uh, Robert Oppenheimer. Uh, this is a well-known photograph of the two prominent physicists. So pretty good. But let's ask it to put a hat on Oppenheimer's head. Okay, so I'm going to run this command or run this prompt. And let's wait for the output. It missed this point. Uh, it put a hat on Einstein's head instead of Oppenheimer. But previously, I used the same prompt and it actually put the hat on Oppenheimer's head. So, well, the AI still needs some time to get better. Now, it can do some crazy stuff. So, I provided this image as a reference. And I said, create an image of a dog in the style of this image. And here is the image of the dog. So, it's able to understand the style that was presented and then it's able to regenerate an image in that style, which is pretty awesome. And on each generated image, it puts this small watermark. You at least know this is an AI generated image. 
although you can easily mask it. Now, I'm going to try some other examples that I have seen on Twitter or X. So here is one image I provided and ask it, can you please make a side view of this image? And here is the output. And I would say there is definitely a resemblance between this person and the person in the original image. Even the sweater, both of the, them are wearing are very similar. But wait, you can do even more stuff. So I said, can you create a zoomed out, outpainted image which shows the whole body of this person? And again, here's the output. The resemblance is definitely there. It also kept the t-shirt and here's the whole body. This Twitter user has some really amazing examples of using Gemini flash image generation capabilities. And I'm going to try some of these. So here is one where he tried to combine two of these images together. Okay, so I provided both of those images as a single image and we're going to ask it to create a hyper-realistic image of this woman holding this toy car. And let's see what it can do. So we got the image and uh, she is holding that car. Really impressive. Uh, you could do this with some of the other models, but you will probably need something like control net and a very complicated workflow. But this thing is pretty amazing so far. Now, one of the most impressive thing about this model is the character consistency. There are small variations, but still for a model that can process both images as an input and generate them, I think this is pretty impressive. So for example, here I asked it to change the expression, to make her laugh, add glasses. And between these two images, the consistency is pretty awesome. Then uh, change the um, color of the hair, add background to the image. So pretty neat. Now you can do all this and a lot more just by describing what you want. And the model is able to edit those images for you. So you can get started with the model for absolutely free uh, in Google AI Studio. And also they have it through their API. You can start generating images using the Gemini Flash model through the API by using the new API client from Google. Here you just need to provide the name of the model, which is Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, then your prompt and the output response that you want. So if you want images, you will have to add image modalities in your response. Now, Google is really at the forefront and some of the other things that Google is working on are pretty amazing. And I think it will set it apart from all of the other companies pretty soon. Now, apart from this, Google also had another release and that was Gemma 3, which is the open weight model that is also multimodal in nature. There are four models in this family, starting from 1 billion all the way up to 27 billion. And the context window of all of these models, except the 1 billion is 128,000 tokens. All of them are multilingual, except the 1 billion. And they have image and video understanding capabilities. And the 27 billion model is the best in class for its weight size. In fact, compared to all the state of the art open weight models, it's just lagging behind DeepSeek R1 on the chatbot arena leaderboard. I am going to create a separate video on Gemma 2. So if you're interested in open weight models, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But that was not it for today. Uh, Google also uh, announced Gemini Robotics, which is based on the Gemini 2 uh, models, but specifically designed for robotics. And all of this is powered by the multimodal capabilities of Gemini. There are quite a few interesting examples that they have shared. I'm going to put a link to this blog post if you're interested. Overall, uh, Gemini is becoming a key piece of Google's AI strategy. And with frontier models like Gemini Pro uh, and Gemini Flash, as well as uh, open weight models like Gemma, I think Google is taking the lead at the moment, specifically when it comes to model usability. They probably don't have the best models, but they have the most useful models. Because if you look at the offerings uh, from the Google, they give you so many different options and at so many different uh, price points. For every application, you don't need a thinking model. Sometimes you just need 
a good enough model that is able to process your data or make decisions for you. And I think that's where Google can really have an edge over some of the other foundation models creators. Anyways, have a look and play with this new capability and let me know what you're able to create with this native image generation. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.